In this lesson, we're going to create kind of a stylized windmill. It's not going to be a very good windmill, but uh, it illustrates some, uh, uh, some, some methods for uh, doing things in SketchUp. We're going to be using SketchUp. I'll get rid of, yeah, I'll get rid of this uh, build volume diagram, and I'll switch camera to parallel projection. OK, I'm going to uh, use the rectangle tool to make the, uh, the base uh, for the windmill, the little stand that's going to uh, hold up the windmill. And let's pretend that we're going to, going to uh, uh, bolt that to something. So I'll make a little hole here for the bolt to go through. And I'll click that inside the circle there and delete it. Push pull tool, raise it up just a little bit. We're not making this any particular dimensions. We're just, uh, we're just uh, eyeballing things. Now, uh, before we uh, add anything onto this, I'm going to make it into a solid. Triple click. That didn't work, so I'll try again. That worked. See, we've got uh, everything's uh, highlighted blue. Right mouse button and make group. And over here, notice it says solid group under entity information. I get the rectangle tool, and we'll just drag out a rectangle here. This is going to make the vertical uh, part of the stand for the windmill. Push pull tool, and we'll just push it up uh, a ways there. And I'm going to make a hole in here. I'm not exactly centering the hole or making it any certain size. Now I have not made this uh, this thing a solid yet. This is still uh, just a bunch of faces and edges, which means that we can uh, we can still. Now I'm using the orbit tool right now. Uh, I pressed O on the keyboard, but you could also go over here and click the orbit tool. So. Uh, now, this is not a solid yet, so that means we can take the push-pull tool and uh, make a hole through here. Now, notice I got, uh, I grabbed a hold of the wrong thing, and it uh, looks like everything went a wire. I'm going to do an undo up here on this arrow, or Control-Z also does it. That's better than trying to fix things, so uh, just do an undo. You see, uh, I must have gotten this, uh, this part out here. We want the center part. And to get to, uh, to tell it where to stop, you put the tip of the red arrow on this, on this, this edge here that says when it gets to that, uh, to that face that it'll stop with the hole. I'm going to press O on the keyboard for orbit tool. Okay, the hole went through there, it's all fine. Triple click. Right click, make group. So now we have these two solids here. Next, I'm going to uh, I'm going to draw a line for us to attach the windmill blades onto. And I'm kind of getting this hole here where it's kind of big. Okay, line tool, and we'll uh, get the uh, We'll pause here on the uh, edge of that circle. And when you're doing this kind of thing, you want, you want to have empty space here where you're trying to get the center of the circle. Let me show you what happens if you don't have that, if you have something like this, and then you're trying to uh, draw a line, you're trying to find the center of the circle. Well, it, it, uh, it worked for me this time, but a lot of times it doesn't work. Whenever I want things to uh, not work, then they, they do work anyway. Uh, line tool again. I pressed L on the keyboard. We found the center of the, uh, well, actually, we don't want to make a line yet. 
and pressing the escape button on the keyboard, all we want to do is pause on the circumference of the circle, go over here to the center, it says center and group, and then we use the line tool and uh, we want a green line. See that green line is parallel to the green axis. And that's going to be the center of the, uh, the hub for the, uh, the uh, windmill. And uh, next I'm going to make a construction plane. Whenever we're trying to draw things in the vertical uh, plane, uh, it, it's often a good idea to make a, uh, a, what I call a construction plane. So I clicked here, uh, kind of close to the, uh, the windmill support, and I'm getting a red line. And I clicked O for the, uh, I pressed O on the keyboard for the uh, orbit tool. KL for line. Uh, vertical, we don't care how big, we can make this thing nice and big. We're going to be erasing it after all. Uh, so red line again, and blue line. And I'm just going to go down kind of low, red line. I accidentally clicked here in the middle, but that doesn't hurt. And when I get here over here, at some point, uh, there's a dotted blue line above where the pencil tool is. And that tells me that I'm lined up with the end of this line that I'm going to uh, pass it on to here. So the fact that we made it a closed, uh, a closed uh, area here, sketch up, shades it in. And it uh, turns out we don't need this, uh, this line here anymore. I get the eraser tool and erase that. Now we need a, uh, we're gonna need a hole for the, uh, uh, the windmill hub, so a uh, circle tool. And you see it's a, the fact that it's a green circle means that it's gonna be centered around the green axis here. I don't think it'll let us get any other kind of circle anyway. And I'm gonna drag that out. And uh, now if we were really trying to be accurate for this, we'd, uh, we would have wanted to measure the radius on the uh, first hole that we made and then make this the same but we're not gonna worry about that. Eraser tool, delete that construction line, O for orbit on the keyboard, okay. I just wanted to check and be sure every, that the, that whole line got erased. And then uh, we might as well erase the center here. I, I pressed the, state, the space bar which gives us a select tool and delete button on the keyboard. O for orbit. And uh, now I'm going to make a, a hexagon that's gonna be where the ends of the blades are. So we'll go over here to the polygon tool and the default is a hexagon, six sides. I'm going to pause on this circle right here. And it's, we've got the center now. I did a click. Now we're dragging out a hexagon. And we can actually go beyond that construction plane that we created. Let's just, I'm, I, I pressed O for the orbit tool. I just wanted to be sure it's not dragging the ground. Although, uh, when it rotates some, it's probably gonna hit the ground, but let's not worry about that. Okay, uh, eraser tool. We'll erase all the lines that we don't want. I'm grabbing a hold of the corners here to erase them. And now we need uh, uh, kind of a hub that the blades will be fastened onto. So circle tool. 
and we'll try to find the center point. Now here it's here it's illustrating the kinds of problems that you can run into. See, it's not really giving us the center of this circle here. Let me pause on it a little bit, see if it'll do that. See, it's just trying to stick onto some of these other lines here. So O for orbit. We'll turn this thing around a little bit so we're looking at empty space on the inside here. Circle tool. I just pause there and now it gives us the actual, well, I don't think it did. Well, maybe it did, let's see. No, see, it's, it, it, uh, it latched onto this other smaller circle in here. I'm pressing the escape button on a keyboard. Whenever you have problems like that, making things bigger often helps. So circle tool again. Now notice it, uh, it's trying to give us, here it's giving us the center of the, uh, the smaller circle. If I fish around a bit, it'll give us the center of the larger circle. Okay, I clicked. So this is gonna be the hub for the windmill blades. I clicked O to get the orbit tool again. And I'm not gonna do anything accurate here. I'm just going to uh, start up here and uh, go down to the hub. See, that's gonna be one of the blades. And I was using the line tool for that. So I'll do the same thing for all six uh, vertices. So this is going to look very off-center and everything. It would probably wobble really badly if it were a real windmill. <clears throat> and notice it's trying to make a, another line here. I'll press the escape button on the keyboard. Okay, now we have all six of the blades. I'm going to erase all the lines that we do not want. I'll click the eraser tool and we'll center that circle right over that line. Now for some reason it gave us a line here, I'm just going to erase that. And we don't want these lines here either, so I'll erase those. Okay, now of course it's paper thin. If we were going to 3D print this, we would need to have, it would need to have some thickness. So push pull tool. Now we've got some thickness. And I'm going to uh, press the space bar to get the select tool. Triple click. And uh, then right click to bring up a menu make group and something went wrong here we want we should have said solid uh, solid group and let me see if i can just see what went wrong here i don't see anything offhand so i'm going to use something that's pretty nifty which is the solid inspector so up here under tools down at the bottom solid inspector squared there's just plain old solid inspector and solid inspector squared Let's, we're going to use the squared one now. And there was some stray edge here. I'll tell it to uh, fix it. And now it says solid group over here. It says no errors, everything is shiny. With a little smi uh, sideways smile there, okay. So we'll shut down the solid inspector. Now we would be able to 3D print this because it's a, a, real, a real solid as opposed to just a group. Now I'm going to make an axle uh, to go through this. I'm going to, I, I clicked O for the orbit tool. And 
I'm going to get so so I'm seeing uh, empty space behind here. And I, I need to tilt it a little bit so I can, so that SketchUp knows whether I'm talking about the the uh, the edge of the circle that's uh, on this face here that we're looking at, or the one on the other side, the other face. Circle tool, pause on the edge here, and uh, that looks good. I'm going to. Uh, Make it larger with the, either the mouse wheel or with the touchpad. You drag two fingers apart. And uh, okay, click to tell if that's where we want the center. And then we'll go all the way out here. Okay, I clicked O for orbit tool. Now I'm going to uh, get the push pull tool. And we'll uh, Pull that out there, and we'll do the same thing with that. And I made this one too long, so I'm gonna go back over here. We can use the push-pull tool again. And we'll just put it right back in here. Now, of course, there's a, I clicked O for orbit. There's a big gap here. Uh, who knows, maybe we're gonna insert some ball bearings in here or something. Um, and, uh, if we were actually going to 3D print this shaft, we would make it, need to make it into a solid. So I'll triple click this and right click, make group. Okay, so we've, we've illustrated some, some principles here, uh, uh, how you work with uh, things where you're constructing something that's on the vertical plane. But this uh, vertical part of the support here, uh, that wasn't hard because we just drew a rectangle and uh, and used the push pull tool to make the blades here. Uh, we had to create a, uh, a construction plane, and uh, I was careful that we only had the red, blue, green lines. If if your lines are all red, green, and blue, then that the construction plane that you make will uh, will be in the same plane. It'll be a flat plane. Okay, that, that's all for this lesson.